Welcome back, Seth Bling here. This is the 8th episode of the Minecraft TNT Olympics, where I recreate Olympic events, but involving TNT in each event. The first episode was Javelin Throw, the second episode was Trap Shooting, the third episode was High Jump and Long Jump, the fourth episode was the 400 meter Hurdles and Vault, the fifth episode was Crew or Rowing, the sixth episode was Balance Beam, the seventh episode was Synchronized Swimming, and this episode is all about the final event, Equestrian don't know what equestrian means it means horses uh, but not horse racing this is about how you how well you can control your horse uh, normally you'd make him jump or whatever and in this case we have eight gates here right here you see this is one I'll go through it here's two three four five six seven and eight and the goal is to make your horse go through the gate well not exactly horse of course, this is Minecraft, there's no horses. Let me push the button, summon my steed, and of course, it's a pig. So, once you summon your pig, you get on him, and then you can place TNT down, and this is how you control your pig. Now, you want to get through the gates, you just need to make sure that you're underneath the, the gate entirely, and so I am, this counts. So, each time you get a different gate, so I just got gate 6, uh, that's going to count towards your score. Your score is the total number of gates that you get. And, oh, that's dangerous. Uh, yikes. So once the pig walks off, your, your run is over. So if this pig decides to walk off right now, I'm kind of screwed. Now, you're not allowed to get off of your pig while you're doing the equestrian event. And so I can't just get off and push him around. And if I put TNT on this bedrock, it will not ignite. It only ignites on the obsidian. Luckily, oh, my, my steed was kind to me and decided not to walk off a cliff. All right, so I'm going to try and go for this gate over here, gate four, and see if I can get my my steed. I, oh, whoops. If you if you do accidentally get off your pig, it's okay. You're just not allowed to push him push him or um, or put any put down any TNT while you're off of the pig. All right. So I'm going to try and get him through here. I think I can. Yep, okay. So now I've got four and six. And I'm going to try and move on to mm, probably two. The even number, whoops. The even numbered ones seem to be a bit easier to get. Oh, yeah, he might just do it for me. <laughs> yes, perfect. All right, this is a pretty good run. Yeah, this, I think this is probably the most random. Okay, so I've got, uh, I've got two now. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> Uh, he's still not off. Now the pig has actually been, oh nice, the pig has actually been, uh, had his jumping capability removed. He's got a potion effect on him that gives him, uh, basically makes it so he can't jump. He's also obviously super pig. He's got immunity to TNT. He's not taking any damage. Oh, uh, haven't died yet. But again, I am on this edge here. Maybe I can knock some TNT. Uh, this is going to be risky, but we'll see if I can do this. I'm going to try and knock TNT. Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> All right. The pig can't jump, so even if he's near the edge, he's not going to come back on. So you can just, if you want to load it up again and, and try again, you can do that. Yeah, this is probably the most random of all the events uh, that I've done. It's, it's a little bit random whether or not the pig is going to try and uh, try and run right off or, or whatever. But that's how it goes. Uh, it is a lot of fun playing around with the TNT to try and move the pig around and get him through the gates. Again, you don't have to go all the way through the gate. You just have to make sure that you're, you're, most of your body is underneath the gate in order to score it. And your score is equal to the number of different gates that you get. So if you get the, the pig through gate 2 a couple times, it doesn't matter. That's still only just the one point for gate 2. And that's how it works. You can just press the button up here to summon another pig and and just do it again. So that's Equestrian. That is the final event. Now we have 10 events in the Minecraft TNT Olympics. And that's cool. I'm really excited about that because it means that pretty soon I will be engaging in competition against three other people who still have yet to be unnamed. Yet to be named. That's the one. <laughs> um, but before that happens, I think that this whole arena could use a little bit of sprucing up. Now I did actually have a plan to have somebody uh, go ahead and you know build a bunch of stuff to make it look really cool. That has actually fallen through though, unfortunately. Uh, 
yeah, I, I, I thought I thought it would have been pretty cool, but uh, they were busy, couldn't make it happen. So instead, what I've decided to do is run a little competition. And this is going to be a very short notice competition. You are not going to have a ton of time, but uh, I'm going to leave it to you guys to try and design the best arena that you can. Now, basically the way this is going to work is you have uh, two days from when this video is posted, exactly 48 hours from the, when this video was posted, uh, to design and build your arena around the existing events. You're not allowed to move any of this existing events. A lot of them would actually break if you did move them because the mob spawners have, uh, have location information built in. Uh, for instance, this one uses a mob spawner to spawn the pig and it has location information built in so that the, the pig has to spawn right here. Uh, it, it can't spawn anywhere else. So if you try to move stuff around, it wouldn't work. So you can't move any of the events. Uh, you can't touch any of the events. Basically, if it's not green wool, don't touch it. Uh, I also would not touch any of the green wool on the inside of the track. But anything else is fair game. I think it'd be really cool. Well, there are a couple of requirements. One, you need to have an Olympic torch, a giant Olympic torch that I can light up. With, uh, with netherrack on top so that you can light that up at the beginning of the, the festivities. And you need a podium so that we can, you know, s sit people on it in order to give out the, the medals, the gold medal, the iron medal, the cobblestone medal. And uh, those are the requirements, I guess. But I think it'd be cool to see, like, stands for, uh, for viewing. Those will be mostly cosmetic because we're not actually going to have viewers when we record the official... Minecraft TNT Decathlon, but it, I think it'll look really cool with those sorts of stands. Maybe like a giant sculpture of a Minecraft athlete holding a torch. I don't know. Uh, you know, it's up to your guys' creativity. And if you do want to submit a an entry for this competition, again, 48 hours from when this video is posted is the deadline. Go ahead and just uh, tweet me. You'll need to tweet me two things. Uh, the first thing you need to tweet tweet me is well, put this all in the same tweet, but you'll need to tweet me, uh, first of all, that it's an entry for the TNT Olympics. So something like TNT Olympic Olympics entry. I'm going to use my chat. It's pretty cool, huh? Uh, and then you need to give me a link to an image, just one screenshot. Uh, and you need to, yeah, link a link to just one screenshot. And this is what I'm going to judge most of the entries based on. A link to the image and then a link to the save file. Now I'm I'm assuming that I'll get quite a few entries and I'm not gonna have the time to look at all of them and that's why this image is so important. I'm gonna before I look at any of the entries I'm just gonna look at the image and I will pick out the top few that I think are worth looking at based on this image. So you need to pick a really good image of your entry uh, so that you know, I'm more likely to actually go ahead and, and, and load it up in Minecraft and look around. And then you need to also post a link to the save file download. Uh, please upload the save file onto Mediafire because I know that that's going to work and everyone should have access to that and it's just going to make it a lot easier if everyone's using the same platform. And I would also appreciate it if you used uh, imgur.com, I-M-G-U-R.com to upload the image just because I know that loads fast. So, again, one screenshot of your entry and also just the download file. And those are due, again, 48 hours from when this video is posted. So make sure you get those in on time. Anything that's late, I'm, I'm not even going to look at. So, uh, so yeah, make sure you, you get those in. So this pig, actually, he's got that invulnerability. You can't damage him for five minutes, but it wears off after five minutes, so you can just kill him after that. Sorry, pig. All right, well, this has been the final event for the Minecraft TNT Olympics. It's sunset, very appropriate. And there's, there's 10 events here. I'm really looking forward to doing the decathlon uh, with some great YouTubers. And yeah, it's going to be great. I'm looking forward to seeing all the submissions. And thanks for watching.